Farmer Kate here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now I'm back in our reptile house and we have another one of our educational videos about our reptiles for you guys today. So it's about one of those animals that is a little bit contentious I'm afraid but I'm going to tell you a little bit about, about them and hopefully make you understand that they're not all that bad all the time. So it is one of our snakes here. So these guys, these are corn snakes. So corn snakes belong to a family of snakes known as colubrids. So that involves like crevos, king snakes, milk snakes, rat snakes, and corn snakes, they're one of those types of rat snakes. Now they got the name because if we look on the underside of their belly, this was thought to look like kernels of corn, so like yellow corn with those black marks you get. But I don't quite see it myself, but that's how they got the name. So we have Rue here, who is helping me out today, and she was one of the first animals that moved into our reptile house here quite a few years ago now. So she's she's been around a long time. She is originally from a rescue centre, like a lot of the animals here that we keep. The adult corn snakes, they can get up to six feet in length, but Rue is about five, five and a half feet. So she is a female, so she does grow bigger than males. So male snakes tend to grow smaller than the females because they don't have to have all the room in their bellies to produce eggs. So in terms of what they eat, they are a completely carnivorous animal. So they are called carnivores, which means, what are you doing, where are you going? They eat things like mice in the wild. If they come across a lizard or a frog, they'll eat that as well, but predominantly it's gonna be mice and rats. We feed ours every seven to ten days, depending on their age this, and their size, really, here. There's quite a few myths out there about snakes. Not all of them are true, so I'm going to tell you a few things that you might not have, might have not known, really. So with snakes, they don't have external ears, which means a lot of people think they see a snake, it's got no ears, it must be deaf. And that's not quite true, so they do have internal ears, so that means they can hear, it's not quite as well as you and me can hear, so, but if you cover your ears with your hands and then you speak, that's kind of how a snake would hear, so they can hear a little bit, but a lot of people think as well that they dislocate their jaws in order to eat their meals, now that isn't true unfortunately either, so with their mandible, lower half of their jaw here it's not attached like our jaw is in the middle and instead it's got a ligament there so in the bottom of their jaw they can extend that out and that's how they swallow such big prey items so it's like us eating like a watermelon <laughs> now with Rue we can tell she is a diurnal snake and that means they're more active during the daytime and the reason we can tell that is that their pupils are big and round so if the snake was more active at night, like our boa constrictors, they'd have slit-like pupils in the day and they'd open really big at night to get all the light in that they can. So it's kind of like looking at a cat's eyes, so it just means they've got slits in the daytime and when they're more active going about the business at night, their pupils are really big and dilated. Yeah. Another one of the myths out there is that snakes are slimy. Now I can tell you that they're not. So I think this comes from people thinking of things like toads and other amphibians which can feel slimy to touch. But reptiles like snakes are just kind of dry and soft. And they just feel really nice really. If you've, ever if you've ever touched one you'll know what I'm saying. They are really nice. Corn snakes are one of the friendly species of snakes out there, which makes them a really good to use to show you guys and tell you a little bit more about them. There are a few less friendly animals here that we might do some videos on as well. But if you enjoyed seeing Rue, I really hope you've had because we might get a chance to do some more educational videos like this. So like and share if you can. And from me, uh, from one of my favourite snakes here, we'll see you later.